Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Ace Otero and in today's pick a card reading we are going to be looking at predictions and advice for April 2022 which is kind of insane. <laughs> that time has flown so quickly. Thank you so much to everybody who sent me love and was just kind and patient while I took some time for myself. I know I was gone for a bit longer than I even I anticipated but uh, I definitely needed that time and I'm glad I took it. I'm feeling a lot better, more refreshed, and I'm ready to get into your upcoming month. So we have three different piles to choose from today, starting with pile one. We have this ruby and kyanite stone, I believe. <laughs> and then for pile two, we have this brutalated quartz little guy. I don't know what you'd call him, just a tumbled stone. And then for pile three, we have this super seven stone. And I cannot remember all of the stones that make up a super seven, but you can Google it. So <laughs> go ahead and pause the video if you need to, to decide which pile you feel most drawn to. It's absolutely okay to be drawn to more than one. Um, you may have messages in multiple piles, just do whatever feels right to you. Take what resonates, don't let the rest take from you. And once you've picked your pile or piles, you can go ahead and scroll down to the description box or the comment section where I will have all the timestamps listed below and I will see you in your reading. Hi there, pile one. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys chose this ruby and kyanite, it's kind of weird and hard to say. This is going to be your reading on the month of April 2022. I want to give a quick happy birthday to all of my April birthdays. I'm an April birthday. If you share a birthday with me, I was born the 7th. Let me know. If you don't wish me happy birthday, you're not my friend anymore. I'm just kidding. But okay, let's look at your cards now. So to start, we have Sacral Portal, Creativity, Intimacy, Inhibition. I did also want to mention I had a song playing in my head. I think it's called like Cold Water. Um, it's like Major Lazer and Justin Bieber, I think. I know, not everybody's cup of tea, but it was just a song that I heard. We also have Speak Truth. See, I'm speaking the truth, even though it might not be everybody's cup of tea. It's what you're going to be doing. We also have Wide Open, which I'm actually going to move these to the center because I forgot the other cards are skinny legends and they need to be on the side because it looks better. Uh, we also have the Hyena and gladiola <laughs> that's kind of funny to say uh strength of character and moral integrity character cannot be developed in ease and quiet only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened and vision cleared and success achieved so i think this is actually going to be a pretty awesome month like overall but there may be some trials that are like not so fun while you're going through them but they're not really intense trials in fact if anything i feel like you're reaching some sort of breakthrough um, in just what your, this feels like a culmination of, of, of events that are far longer than a month. And in this month, it kind of seems like things are coming to a head where you're finally understanding why these trials were happening and what you can do to overcome them or not allow yourself to succumb to them. I definitely see you being reinvigorated creatively uh, with this hyena here. I definitely feel like you're gonna be addressing a lot of wounds uh, from your past or finally healing the part of you that doesn't feel safe to acknowledge truth, um, whether that be with yourself or with other people. With the hyena card here, you could be a fire sign or have fire placements, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you certainly don't have to. Uh, but from what I can see here, it seems like you've been kind of pushing forward and telling yourself like half truths and, and like, you know, saying things like, oh, X, Y, Z is kind of annoying, but it's fine. Or just kind of making a joke of like your trauma or the things that you're, that you'd rather not address. And I feel like you're actually working through this coping mechanism not that it's a horrible one to have but it's just that there's maybe things that other people have done to you that bothers you or things that you'd like to say that bothers you that you don't i definitely feel like you're the type of person who would rather just say whatever to keep the peace rather than 
speak your piece. And so I think that you have the opportunity this month to finally be honest with yourself and be honest with other people. And I actually think honesty with the self is going to come first. And I think once you realize how good that feels, you're going to feel motivated to be honest with others as well. With the hyena card being here though, I do think that you're gonna be kind of tested. Like you might be put in situations where you may not necessarily have to be completely truthful and it'll be up to you to decide whether you actually do follow through with that, with speaking your truth or not. Uh, I feel like the universe is asking you to, and I feel like that's what your soul is calling you to, and that's kind of where, that's the point that you're reaching. But you may find that you get into situations where, like for example, you're at work and some, some coworker is like, eating your food out of the fridge and you're like oh like that's my food but that's fine like you're gonna be like oh what are you doing eating my food like did you pay for that food like, well I mean you, you can be kind about it but like I guess the point of what I'm saying is is like when people do things that are either mildly annoying or just like plain rude um you might have the opportunity to kind of like speak your truth and, and set boundaries or not say anything and I think spirit is asking you to pay attention to what feels better and maybe even try both I'm sure you you do a lot of already of like saying things to just keep the peace. So you're probably aware of the fact that the the first one, the former, doesn't really feel very good. And I think that you're going to be reaching a point where you just care less about how your truth impacts other people. With Wide Open here, I also think that you're going to have a lot of creative inspiration this month. I think the reinvigoration of spring, or if you're in the southern hemisphere, the emergence of fall. Well, I guess, is it fall, sp spring? No. No, because Christmas, it's, it's Christmas is summer and the wind. So yeah, it is going to be fall for you, but it's spring. It's just like fall. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the changing of the seasons in whichever place that you are, uh, I think will bring some sort of inspiration for you or just this time of transition. You know, we are in airy season now, which we love and, well, I love, and <laughs> This is really a time for you to just kind of get out of the maybe like the winter funk you've been in or summer funk if you've had that. Uh, I know sometimes I don't really I don't really like summer too much, but um, this is a good time. I feel like as well there's gonna be people that are close to you that are kind of encouraging you to speak your truth and giving you the support that you need to kind of follow through on what your soul wants. But I definitely think you're gonna be giving yourself the credit you deserve and if not I'm gonna tell you that you need to give yourself the credit you deserve because you're gonna be showing up in a way that not many people do like showing up for yourself in the sense of when somebody oversteps your boundaries you're not allowing it when somebody when you are overstepping your own boundaries you're gonna be like listen self like I need to get it together because boundaries with yourself are just as important with, as boundaries with other people but I feel like more than anything you're gonna be feeling really honest with yourself and it's gonna make room for more creative freedom and more room to just look at things in an honest way you might have been struggling with like your ego being a little bit elusive you may not have realized how your ego was kind of tied to keeping the peace um because you may think that's like, oh, I just, I just, I'm nice and I want everything to be harmonious and balanced and nice and that's normal. But sometimes our ego can kind of get attached to like keeping the peace and wanting to um, placate everyone and things like that. And I think you're going to be recognizing that sometimes that's just not always possible when you need to defend yourself or you need to stand up for yourself or protect yourself. And I think that you're going to be learning that there is value in tapping into your emotions and, and allowing your emotions to be free and to, and maybe not in a way where you're like lashing out at someone or something like that, but I mean just like acknowledging your emotions so that you can harness them in creative ways or acknowledging your emotions so that you can release them and move forward and make better decisions. I feel like you're finally just, this is a month of surrender for you where you're just finally recognizing like, okay, this, this, amalgamation of pressure is finally being released by me finally speaking up about it it's like I'm just picturing somebody like having a backpack and like all of these people coming up and putting their rocks putting rocks in in your backpack and and you're saying oh it's fine I can carry it it's fine 
but you have your own rocks to carry and now they're not carrying any rocks and you're like over here with a 50 pound backpack full of rocks and everyone else is like fine carrying little clutches with like a single stone and I feel like you're you're just reaching that point where it's like this pressure this burden on your on your back on your shoulders especially is like you're finally just like releasing that me like you know what this isn't fair and so that metaphor allegory whatever it is uh haven't been in an English class in a long time that's essentially just saying like yeah you're 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 taking that pressure off and recognizing that you're allowing other people to put pressure on you or allowing external situations to put pressure on you that isn't fair and rather than allowing you know allowing yourself instead of setting yourself on fire to keep others warm you're starting to recognize how you need to let other people carry their own weights and not take on more than is necessary i also feel like you could be freeing yourself up from a lot of responsibilities that maybe you felt obligated towards but didn't really bring you any fulfillment and if anything just stressed you out um, maybe that's something you were doing in this past month and i feel like if you have been thinking about doing that or are did that or are planning to do that um I feel like that's a huge green light from Spirit. I mean, look, even her dress is green because I think it's gonna make room for you to do things that actually fulfill you and do things that you'll actually enjoy. And I think you'll be so glad that you made the choice to free up your schedule or do whatever you needed to do to have just a little bit more time to yourself. But I feel like you need to know, like, I think you're, you're very self-aware and you're very hard on yourself. And this is a month where you can actually pat yourself on the back and recognize that like, you've been doing things the right way. You've been doing things, well, I guess there is no true right way, but the right way that feels most aligned with your integrity, you've been doing things in a way that, that upholds your honor. And I think that you, you're learning that you can be honest and still be kind. You can be, you can set boundaries and survive that you know even if someone reacts if someone reacts poorly to your boundaries that's exactly why you need boundaries in the first place and i think that setting boundaries with things or people that were not serving you is giving you freedom to embrace different experiences opportunities activities that you wouldn't do otherwise because you would have been bogged down by these other external things but overall i think that this is a really awesome month where you're feeling freer to be yourself you're feeling more inspired and just more driven towards the things that make you happy i feel like you're going to be having maybe some like really awesome conversations with people especially like in your family or people that you see as family i kind of see this as like heart to hearts or just you both kind of talking about what you're going through and just laying it all out on the table, not like it's a conflict or anything like that, but just like comparing experiences and being like, man, this is what I've been going through and here's what I'm learning and like vice versa. I feel like you're gonna be having fulfilling conversations with the people that you care about and really seeing one another on a deeper level than just what's on the surface. And I think that's also gonna be really satisfying. I also feel like you're gonna be maybe more honest with like friends or a significant other or family and and talk about what you've been going through internally and they might say things like wow i didn't even know you were dealing with that you know you can always come to me if you need help i feel like you're going to be recognizing that there's more support and more people in your arena than you realize and i really like that i'm really happy for you i'm glad that you have this um and if that's something you don't have i think that's something that spirit is going to be opening you up to finding so be be on the lookout for that but we're gonna go a bit deeper oh my god by the way we're doing mega deck today. So for those of you that were asking to bring mega deck back, uh, here she is. So we'll use mega deck for advice, but we're just gonna do a quick little dive into different areas of your life. I just wanna see what's going on in your relationships, what's going on in your career, school, work, and then what is going on in your personal life. And I think we'll finish it off with just like what spirit wants you to know, like any external circumstances or factors that you need to be aware of. So, okay. Spirit, what will pile one be experiencing in their relationships this month? Can I just say, so I know it feels so good to be back and like doing this. Oh my God. I didn't realize how much I missed this. I'm so happy to be back. I love you guys. 
Um, okay, what does pile one need to know about their relationships? Okay, what does pile one need to know about their career, study? What does pile one need to know about their personal life? And what external factors does pile one need to be aware of this month? Okay, so now we'll get your tarot. So uh, this is Vanessa Samina's tarot deck, Pastel Journey Tarot. Her company, Bow Life, was super kind and sent me this deck as, long, as well as some beautiful jewels. For example, this amethyst ring and... Oh, it's kind of down there this black obsidian bracelet if you are interested in checking out this tarot deck or any of the jewelry or other awesome items on her site i do have an affiliate link down below the code is aso10 thank you so much bow life for providing me with this awesome stuff and uh yeah just wanted to let y'all know that if you are interested in any of any of the things available on her website she's a lot of cute stuff uh, you can get it at a little bit of a discount. So that will be linked below. I love this deck too because it's just such like my energy. Like <laughs> bubbly and bright pastels. I don't know. It just makes me happy. I think it's a really beautiful deck. Um, okay, let's see. Spirit, what does Pile 1 need to know about their relationships in... I almost said March. <laughs> I hope I didn't say 2021. In April 2022, um, what does Pile 1 need to know about their career in April 2022? What about their personal life in April 2022? And what external factors do they need to be aware of? Okay. So let's go ahead and start with relationships. This can be relationships of any kind. To start, ooh, we have justice. And we have cancer, feeling sympathetic, comforting, nostalgic, protective, intuitive, birthing, tender, nocturnal. Okay, yeah, you guys get it. So I definitely think, ooh, I love how, how much these match too. There's definitely a lot of balance coming to your relationships. I think like, for example, if you are in a relationship, I think there's balance coming there. Like maybe if there's been small things that have been bothering you or things that you've wanted to improve um, in your connection with this person, I feel like you both are going to be opening up about um, just ways that you'd like to improve the relationship. You could be ascending to a deeper level of commitment with this person. Like you could be moving in together. Um, you could be even be getting married for some of you. Justice is about that. You could also be, um, for some of you, if you're experiencing like, a court case of some type that has to do with custody specifically i do see things like potentially going in your favor or just working out really well um if you've been struggling um if you've been feeling out of balance with your mother specifically i do feel like that relationship is going to be healing in this month no matter what though i feel like those are just a few specifics that came to mind but Overall, when it comes to your relationships, whether they are romantic, platonic, familial, I think that you're going to be spending time with the people that you feel really close to, the people that you have intimate connections with. You're going to be feeling a good balance of give and take. And I think that's going to help you be aware of what connections are important to sustain because the ones worth sustaining will have people that are equally as committed to sustaining those connections with you. And I feel like you're just going to be feeling very safe in your relationships this month. Um, if you're seeing somebody that uh, you have feelings for, I do think you could be getting into a commitment with them, which is really exciting. Uh, I also think that this has nothing to do with relationships actually, but for some reason I keep focusing on the home. You could have a loved ones coming to visit well, that is kind of related to relationships, but you might be like doing something with like renovating your house or redecorating it. And I think it's going to bring you a lot of peace. And I, I, I almost saw specifically, um, if you're doing like a living room or, or, or a room where you're going to have people gathering, um, and you're, and you're indecisive on anything, go for something cozier, something that, that you feel like you can picture like your loved ones gathering together and being cozy and spending hours there and just getting lost in time. But that's a random message. I just definitely think that 
you're going to be feeling really safe, really held in your relationships. Um, somebody that you care about could be getting married or you could be hearing an exciting like announcement related to that. I think overall, like you're going to be really happy with your relationships this month. And I think that you're going to have a lot of support. I love that this sword is kind of being reiterated here. Like you're going to feel safe to be honest with the people that are closest to you. And you're not going to deal with pushback from that. Like they're going to be there for you. They're going to be supportive. They're going to really care about what you're going through and what you're experiencing. And I think that overall, I, I actually think one thing that's really awesome is that um, there's, there will be certain people in your life that may almost push you to be honest. Like you may be saying, oh yeah, like I'm fine. Everything's fine. But they kind of know that that's not the case or that maybe there's things you want to talk about. And I feel like those people are going to kind of push you to dig a little bit deeper and be honest about what's happening. But there could be a significant cancer in your life that you could be interacting with as well. So maybe if the person you're talking to is a cancer or something like that, that could be a confirmation as well. Or a Libra, because we do have uh, justice here. But I definitely think that when it comes to relationships, I think that you're going to be feeling very fulfilled and it's a good month for that. So let's go ahead and look at career, school. Oh, we have the Queen of Wands. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have Gemini. This is awesome. So I definitely think that you're gonna be feeling confident in whatever it is that you do. Um, if you're starting something new, I feel like you need to know that uh, you're more qualified than you think you are. I think you're gonna be feeling um, confident about your skills or if you've taken a break from a school or work or anything like that, you're gonna be realizing like, oh wow, like I, I didn't lose as much knowledge as I thought I did. Um, but I think you're gonna be feeling confident enough to take charge to be honest with others, with Gemini here. Um, maybe there's a Gemini you're gonna be, oh my gosh, <coughs> excuse me, I need to, take, need to take some water, drink some water. I definitely think you're gonna be on your game, no matter what it is that you're doing. Um, if you're in school, I think that if you have any presentations, they're gonna go really well. Um, make sure you're wearing something that you feel confident in or that you know you look fire in because that's just gonna really help you get in the zone. Uh, I also think that people are gonna be finding you very attractive. And actually one of the things that might make people like respect you more, find you attractive is, is you like speaking your truth and being honest and telling people what you won't stand for. I also think that you may be more social this month. Uh, maybe you spend more time with coworkers or you kind of integrate yourself into um, your school or work culture more. I do feel like you could be meeting someone, like maybe someone is getting hired or if you're coming to a new place or someone's like transferring or something like that, you could be meeting someone that really vibes with you and that you guys get along really, really well. But I also think that um, this might be a month where there's just a lot of hectic stuff going on. So you may be, um, you may have a lot of different work projects or if it's school, you may be like kind of, um, all over the place like maybe you have like I said different priorities and and that might be something where you're like okay maybe I need to kind of scale things down a little bit but more so than anything I actually kind of see you enjoying your uh your work or school experience this month and if it has been tougher on you I feel like you're kind of stepping into those challenges and not viewing it as much of a challenge but more so as like an opportunity to grow or improve or evolve. I really, really like this energy and I think that you're going to be taking taking the lead in a lot of ways and feeling confident to do so. Um, I just heard promotion. So for some of you, the action that you take this month could be leading to a promotion of some kind or if you're up for one, I think this could be a good sign. I feel like it, one thing that I'm hearing specifically is you know, don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to put your ideas out there. Don't be afraid to be creative because I definitely can see here um, that you're kind of being put to the test. I don't know it like overtly by anyone, but just kind of by the universe. And I think you're gonna be realizing that you're much more capable to handle challenges than you thought you were. And I really love this for you because I think you're gonna recognize that like, there's so many different versions of you. Like with this Gemini energy here, I almost feel like you're gonna 
recognize that like even if you see yourself as a more shy person or as a more reserved person that you don't have to adhere to those labels like especially not in the workplace like you could even have like a an alternate personality in the workplace and and you know maybe her name is Gemma I don't know why that's coming to my name but she's she's confident she's fiery like she says what she thinks and thinks what she says <laughs> like I don't know but I just feel like you're gonna be in this energy where you're speaking up for yourself I think people are gonna find you hilarious attractive um, overall like I think it's gonna be a good time I think that a lot of people are gonna be very impressed by you I think that actually like healing conversations that you have with the people closest to you will translate into your work environment in a way where you're gonna be you're just gonna recognize that you have this support behind you at home and so it doesn't really matter if you make a mistake or um, if you fumble the bag or something because there's always gonna be people there to support you and I think you're gonna recognize that you know things in your work environment don't have to be so life and death or so serious like you can show up and have fun and be light and and not put so much pressure on yourself i i really like this energy so let's go ahead and look at your personal life now what's going on there okay so we have the eight of swords and oh god i gotta say that quinn conks but it represents complex complexity irritates puzzles mystifies complicates contradicts clashes misses the mark requires translation adjusts makes curious educates transforms so from what i can see with this you're definitely going to be plagued with doubt while you're doing all this and maybe hearing these descriptions you're like yeah right asa like this isn't me and i feel like you need to recognize that this is literally all in your head one of the quintessential things about the eight of swords is like it is a trap that you put yourself in. And just coming from personal experience, um, I was totally stuck in this Eight of Swords energy for like the past two and a half weeks. And like I tried to film multiple times. In fact, that's where this mega deck is from. It was from a different video that like I didn't finish because I just was so in my head. And so I think one, I wanna tell you that remember a lot of things that are in your head does not mean it is the reality. And this whole month is about learning how to get out of your head because we have all of these swords of truth. And I think that what's gonna be most helpful for you is to have mirrors in your external world that can remind you that you're okay and that your thoughts do not, your thoughts are not always the truth. Your thoughts are not always reality. Sometimes they're just thoughts. And in fact, they can warp your reality and create limiting beliefs that make you think you're doing worse or that you're not as great as you truly are. You can untie yourself from this. And so what I think is going on here is you're gonna recognize that a lot of this mental anguish that you've been dealing with, cause I was picking up on that, um, you're kind of setting yourself free from that this month. And I think a lot of that is going to come from speaking your truth and also recognizing that you can speak your truth and it won't be the end of the world. That you can speak your truth to yourself and you're not gonna completely crumble. In fact, it might make your life a little bit easier. So the Eight of Swords is also about fear and the ego kind of rules fear you know it, the ego feeds off of fear and so i think you're gonna realize that like maybe you were keeping yourself small out of fear of being seen or fear of failure your ego's been trying to keep you safe and i don't think you've been aware of how that has impacted your ability to be your best self and to be your most authentic self like these are two very different energies i mean the eight of swords and wide open like these are polar opposites and i think what your challenge is going to be is finding ways to not allow your brain to override your skills to be your beautiful self i feel like the biggest challenge you're going to have is not allowing your fears to restrain you from being the bubbly vivacious person that you can be and i think that let me just give you a few tips breathing exercises breathing exercises are super helpful if you have fears write them on paper because when you write them down you can look at them more objectively and be like is this a real fear talk to people that you care about and that are open to hearing you out which clearly you are going to be doing especially a parental figure or someone that has like a nurturing guiding influence in your life i think that could be very helpful whatever type of figure that is whether it's friends family 
your partner, whatever it may be. But I definitely can see here that this internal struggle that you're going through, you're going to be free of it by taking action to counteract it and calling yourself out when it happens or being mindful of the being literally mindful of when your mind is running away from you um because you know the opposite of being mindful is being mindless and sometimes our own fears and worries can kind of get away from us and when you're stuck in your head like that it can be hard to get out of it and so one of the best things that you can do is you know, tell people what's going on or be honest with yourself and say, okay, I'm struggling mentally. What can I do that I know helps me get out of my head? Is that exercising? Is it walking in nature? Is it, you know, talking to a friend? Whatever solutions you have. But one of the things I will say is breathing helps so much and feeling it into your body is a very, very, very helpful thing. Like, you know what? Breathing is awesome. It's, air is free. It costs nothing. And we, we already do it anyway. It's just being mindful about how you do it and literally just taking deep breaths and like picturing your energy go from like the top of your head to the tips of your toes and like feel that energy get distributed throughout you so that it's not just all based in your head like that alone is gonna help but I definitely think that when you are struggling with like a lot of mental anguish try not to cope with it through escapism try to cope with it through things that kind of tackle it head on. Because I think if you try to cope through escapism or just brushing it off, it's gonna continue to plague you and it's gonna hold you back from being your best self this month. So let's go ahead and look at external factors. So we have judgment and we have the, the okay, I love this, surrender. So I definitely think that this month you are finally overcoming a lot of this with judgment in the 12th house. Like this honestly makes me think of judgment in a lot of ways, but I think that you're just finally reaching a breakthrough point. I'm hearing the song Bulletproof in my head right now, uh, but I think you're just kind of having a greater awareness that a lot of the things that have been holding you back have been purely mental or have been fears of yours that you've been allowing to manifest or that you've been unaware have been impacting you and i think what's just really beautiful about all of this is that you're you're gonna be seeing beyond your mind this month and surrendering to the fact that there are so many things outside of your control but there are things you can control and you're gonna recognize what those things are i'm being told right now to read judgment in in the guidebook so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i don't do that very often but spirit wants me to do that so there must be something important in here for you when ju when judgment appears know that you are being called to step into a new cycle in your life which allows you to fully embrace your individuality thanks to your higher self's awakening almost as though you are going through a spiritual rebirth reflection and reevaluation going through a spiritual rebirth reflection and reevaluation come naturally you can make judgments that reflect who you truly are and renew certain parts of your life accordingly it is not unusual for judgment to appear in your life in the form of a wake-up call or divine intervention this might come as a shock to you but sooner rather than later you will understand precisely why you've been propelled to step into a new phase of your life Ultimately, judgment is a favorable card indicating that you are making sound decisions in life and are mature enough to reflect on your actions and decisions. When this card appears, any challenges you encounter along the way are easily resolved and you've learned from the past and are using those life lessons to move forward. Keep this fabulous energy going and ignore the haters. They will always exist no matter what you do. You simply cannot please everyone, so you might as well focus on pleasing yourself first. Yeah, this is awesome. I think you're going to be definitely gaining more spiritual awareness. The 12th house even gives insight to that i think you're finally going to be breaking through an internal barrier that you've had where maybe you've been kind of stuck in your mental energy or stuck in energy that wasn't really serving you and you're gonna be kind of getting to the root causes of, of certain things that may have been stopping you from being your authentic self but this pretty much encompasses what i was saying earlier and yeah, that was put beautifully. I feel like Spirit was saying instead of spending like five minutes trying to explain this card, just read the book because it's more eloquently put. But I definitely think that you are going to be feeling a lot better this month. And I think what's really beautiful is that you're no longer just going to be seeing half of the picture. And I think the half of the picture that you've been seeing is what's on the surface or the judgments that you make about certain things. And now you're finally going to be seeing things like in a fuller picture and in a fuller way and I think that you're just going to be 
feeling so much freer and you're gonna be like man why didn't i start speaking my truth earlier but don't beat yourself up about doing like not knowing something earlier okay because you're doing all the time you're doing the best you can with the knowledge you have so let's go ahead and finish this reading off with some guidance and we're going to use Miss Megadeck. Today she is made up of the Work Your Light Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell and the Rose Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell. I just think Rebecca Campbell is awesome and her cards are really beautiful. So if you're ever wanting a deck, um, oh, actually a book that would be really helpful for you that um, I have like right here. Uh, it's also by Rebecca Campbell. It's called Light is the New Black. Um, and it's cool too, because you can like write in it and stuff. And so it's kind of like a book in a journal in one. So if you feel like you need more structure or something like that, this, I would recommend uh, Rebecca Campbell. Cool lady, very enlightened. Okay, <laughs> so let's get some advice for you from Megadex. So Spirit, what advice do you want to finish off pile one with in this reading? <laughs> yes, unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Yeah, you are breaking free. You're soaring. You're flying. I don't know the rest of the lyrics to that song, but, you know. <laughs> okay, we also have After the Rain silver lining relief hope mercy it's over acceptance yeah which is awesome you know even though april showers are the ones that's supposed to bring may flowers uh i think i think that your flowers are coming early my dude and i think that you're just gonna be kind of seeing the silver lining in a lot of things and just finally like oh i feel like you're gonna feel a million times lighter we also have the wild rose do it your way embrace uniqueness untamed yeah you're finally gonna be like okay like i i can chill i can i can be myself i feel like you're just gonna be feeling so much freer to be yourself which is just awesome and we also have inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart so i definitely think that this actually came out in reverse and so i think when spirit is say is saying that when you get in these moments where you're stuck in your head you're really struggling to see see the forest for the trees and and see the truth of things you want to tune into your heart and say what's my heart telling me what does my heart want me to know because the advice you get from your heart will be delightfully simple and clear and it always knows what you want the heart is like the representative of the soul so like you know if you can't access your soul's wisdom you can go to your heart because they're like they're like the soul's assistant kind of and and they'll just say oh i talked to the soul and the soul said this but yeah but your heart is also an extension of your soul so you can see it that way but we on the back of the deck we have the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe so i definitely think that you are going to be cherishing time with family friends your soul family this month if you don't have that i think that that is something that is going to be happening this month all because you are making these changes and these shifts that you need when you embrace more of your soul's energy you naturally align with the path of finding your people and also with the people that are already in your life that you feel are your soul family that you care about you're also like by you living your truth you are giving them inspiration and permission and freedom to do that too like you inspire others when you are yourself and yeah you know what pile one you're a beautiful human being i am very impressed that you have come to this point and i think that you should be very very proud of yourself because it's not easy to reach a point where you're finally like fuck it i'm just gonna be me and i think that you're reaching that point and i'm just really proud of you and like you should be proud of yourself and yeah you are doing great and whenever you get stuck in your head just tell your head <laughs> sure jan and then say okay what does my heart want to tell me and see what she says because i promise what she says will be i mean not to like gender your heart but i'm pretty sure the heart is feminine so we'll see see what she says and uh 
yeah, you'd be surprised what responses you get. They're delightfully simple and not convoluted. So pile one, I am going to leave this reading here. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and thank you for watching my ads. That is the simplest and easiest way to support me. But if you'd like to support me in other ways, you can like this video. You can comment down below. Let me know how it resonates. You can subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new reading. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, oh yeah, I think I have other things. Uh, you can check out my social media, though do be aware there are scammers that pretend to be me. So just know I don't offer personal readings and I uh, will not DM you on Instagram offering you a reading. If it's not linked below, it's not mine. I also have merch, which is linked below as well. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So thank you so, so, so much for being here. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful April. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye. Hi there, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. And thank you so much for being here. If you guys chose this little rutilated quartz guy, this is going to be your reading on what is happening for April 2022. I quickly wanted to say happy birthday to all of my April babies. I am one as well. I'm on the 7th, so let me know if you have the same birthday as me or same birth month. Love that. Um, but if you don't tell me happy birthday, like you're not my friend anymore, so you better do that, okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's actually look at your month. Who cares about that? Okay, so let's start with this guy, I guess, we have details, details. We have one that's stuck. We have paradox. You guys actually got two of these cards. So I hope you feel real big in your britches. We have galactic guidance, star family, assistance, cooperation. And we have, oh my gosh, I love how those match. Solar portal, being centered, balancing power, manipulation. We also have tulip. Friendship and gratitude. Let us be grateful for the people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. And we have the crow. Okay, so we've got some air energy going on. You could be or have air placements, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I actually kind of love this. And what I'm going to tell you is that this month in some ways will feel mundane externally but it's gonna be very powerful internally not much may change in your external world but a lot is going to be changing in terms of how you see the world and how you operate within the world because i want to start with this paradox card because everything about the divine is kind of a paradox like i i, I think of like paradox as like this and that are true and you know a lot of times readers will even give messages like me <laughs> will give messages that are incredibly paradoxical and that's just kind of how the divine is and i feel like one of the biggest things which is actually interesting we have this was like making me think of a compass and oh and the stars here too wow okay there's a lot of there's a lot of six pointed stars um this almost kind of looks like a compass so compasses could be important but i think the biggest shift that's happening is you're beginning to follow an inner compass that feels right to you you're not really going to be in a middle ground there is kind of there's going to be this shift in your awareness where life may be really mundane but you're going through these kind of insane spiritual shifts at the same time and these don't necessarily have to be on paper spiritual they're just a greater awareness of yourself a greater awareness of the world the best way i can kind of describe it in like more mundane terms is like are you ever like in a public place and you just have this moment of awareness that like every single person around you has their own life their own family their own experiences and you're just like a little blip in their day and you'll probably never see them again that that awareness i know there's like a word for it but it's kind of stuff like that where you're just gonna be doing regular human things and you're just gonna have these deep moments of clarity one thing with details i was thinking about taxes so you may be bogged down with paperwork or things like that this month um you know getting your taxes done things like that in fact you may actually have someone help you with that but i it's like at the same time you're gonna be going through these crazy shifts and these crazy like 
moments of awareness where you're just like, oh my God, like it's like these small things that, that lead you to this insane awareness. And with this crow card being here, I definitely think that if you already are pretty tapped into your psychic abilities, I think that they're going to be getting stronger. Um, if you have less experience, like with tapping into your psychic abilities, because everyone, everyone is psychic. Um, I think that your, your gifts are going to be opening a little bit. You may actually be meeting guides. If you resonate as a star seed, I do think that you could be meeting galactic guides. Um, I will say though, whenever anything is interacting with you in the spiritual world, always be discerning, um, and protect yourself first and foremost. Uh, if it doesn't seem unconditionally loving, well, I mean, you can feel for that. Well, I'm not going to sit here and like, tell you how to do mediumship or anything like that you may just be like like maybe you get a reading and hear about a guide or you get signs that align with a guide um maybe they come to you in a dream or something like that um but you'll know they're a guide if they are unconditionally loving and if you happen to meet a guide you know just ask them to show you love um because an imposter cannot do that um but in order to know what love feels like you have to be able to tap into that that energy right if you're interested in, I guess what the point of what I'm trying to say is if you're interested in mediumship, get a mediumship teacher. But I do think that there are going to be friends from the galactic realms or on the other side that love you unconditionally that are going to be helping you. And you may not see them or experience them. I feel like it's only going to be probably for a select few of you that are actually interacting with them. But for most, I feel like things are going to go your way in ways that you weren't really anticipating. And I think that these guides have something to do with it. So like, for example, let's say you really need help like with your taxes or you really need help finishing up a project. You may find out that you get an extension or you may find some, maybe a friend is like, oh, hey, I can help you with that. Or one thing I heard specifically is like, if you have a test, um, you may find that that the um, test is pushed back or that if you had to make guesses like your guesses were really accurate or something like that but still study I'm not saying don't study like <laughs> just stuff like that I feel like your life maybe it's it's this paradox where like you you might be feeling like your life is kind of boring not much is happening or you're you're kind of bogged down not bogged down in a bad way but just stuck in in a 3d energy worried about life or doing life things but at the same time you're just having you're just you're kind of in two places at once where you're present doing whatever human things you need to do while at the same time just having greater spiritual awareness of you your purpose why you're here what you're doing things like that I definitely also think with all of this star energy I get a lot of Aquarius energy in this pile and I feel like you're just going to be recognizing how small you are but in like a beautiful way I think it's going to be very humbling when where you like recognize like wow you know I'm just this tiny little human having my experiences and you know living my life and and things like that I, you it's like positive existential energy is kind of the vibe that I'm getting and maybe you meet people or are spending time with people that also kind of have this perspective and it's going to be really comforting to kind of share that understanding with them but it, it's definitely going to feel bittersweet in the sense that like ah, i work this desk job but like i astral projected last night like things like that it's gonna maybe sometimes make it hard to kind of be in the human world and, and be a human because you're because you're dealing with all of this greater awareness but at the same time it's like this greater awareness is leading you to make changes in the physical world that will help align you with what you're learning and what you're understanding not only about yourself but the world and it's leading you closer to the life that you've always wanted to live and so what i think is really awesome is that i think in this month you're really going to be focusing on like cleaning out the clutter in your house changing your routine maybe focusing more on your health or focusing more on making sure you're getting enough sleep I definitely see you taking steps to better yourself in ways that um, are going to be positively supported by the universe. I think you're going to be feeling yourself feel, I think you're going to be feeling yourself like in the Beyonce way. Love that energy. Love that song. It's Beyonce and Nicki Minaj, I believe. Uh, but also, you know, maybe you have friends that, that join you, friends, family, 
significant others that join you in in changing these habits and so you get to have like more fun with that um maybe if you've been eating healthier you'll realize like you'll your psychic abilities or will be more open and in tune um i kept wanting to call this rutilated quartz a golden healer and it's not golden healer it's related quartz so i just grabbed a golden healer stone oh my gosh and it literally like matches this solar portal so much um so this may be a stone you want to look into getting because it uh i kept wanting to call this rutilated quartz this so yeah just be aware of that um i definitely think you're gonna have more energy and i think that you're even going to find joy in the mundane things that you're doing and find clarity for why you're at this point in your life and, and why you're here um I also think that even if you have no contact with your guides or anything like that, you're just going to be feeling supported by the universe, even if you don't believe in like spirit guides and things like that. I feel like you are just going to be feeling supported. And with this star family energy here, I just feel like, listen, you've got friends that are working in your favor and, and trying to help you as best as they can. And I do think that you are going to reap the benefits of that. I also think you're going to be more positive this month and at times you're gonna feel weird about being positive because like maybe things aren't going too great or you have like a lot on your plate right now but you're just gonna be feeling so positive about all of it um for some of you I see a lot of like paperwork that you may have to do or um if you're in school like just a lot of school but there's almost kind of something comforting to you that I can see about having a structure in the near future. Even if you're somebody who hates structure, I feel like you will find comfort in having a more structured lifestyle this month. Um, so if that's something that you've been feeling called to do, I think the universe is confirming that that is something that would be very helpful for you. Um, but more than anything, I think that you're gonna be learning to kind of follow your own intuition, follow your own inner compass, and do more of what makes you feel good rather than do more of what you feel like you should do. And even though you may have, well, likely have obligations or things that you need to do, I feel like you're gonna have awareness of, of little things you could do to like make the mundane shit that you have to do less awful. Like, for example, if you're cleaning out your house, you know, maybe you put on a new album that you really wanna to listen to, or you put on a movie in the background, or, or just doing small things to make the little annoying aspects of being a human more enjoyable. Um, yeah, and I think I think that there's just a lot of acceptance in this month and a lot of like recognizing how we have to have both positive and negative things in our life to truly appreciate both aspects of that spectrum. I feel like you're really just going to be in this energy of understanding duality and understanding how like there, there's always something. And um, yeah, a book that I would recommend is The Wisdom of Insecurity by Alan Watts. Um, I feel like that might be a helpful book for you. I would go grab it, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> So let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper now. Oh my god, by the way, did I mention we're doing Mega Deck today? Um, she's coming out for advice, but I actually have another deck of advice for you. So we're only going to do a little bit of Mega Deck, but some Mega Deck is better than no Mega Deck, am I right? Okay, that little sun card popping out. So we're just going to divide this, and I'm going to look at your relationships in general doesn't have to be romantic, can be platonic, familial, whatever. And then we're going to look at your work, career, personal, like, or study, whatever, whatever it is that you do. And uh, then we'll look at your personal life. And then I just want to see what external factors may, may be affecting you. So, Spirit, what will Pile 2 be experiencing in their relationships in the month of... April 2022. What about their career or work life? Okay, what about uh, their personal life? And finally, what external influences do they need to be aware of? Okay, 
So now let's get into the tarot. I am using the Pastel Journey Tarot Deck by Vanessa Semina. Her company, Bow Life, was super kind and sent me this deck as well as some beautiful jewelry like this ring and, oh, gotta dig them out, this black obsidian bracelet. So I do have an affiliate link with them. The code is ASO10. So if there's anything on her shop that you are interested in and would like to get a little bit of a discount, my link will be linked below and i just want to shout out bow life thank you for sending me these items it was so kind of them and yeah i love this tarot deck it is like it is just my energy like all of my favorite colors and yeah i just 10 out of 10 <laughs> would recommend um i also like these rings because i have small fingers and you can adjust them but anyway okay Spirit, what is happening in April 2022 for Pile 2's relationships? Okay, what about their work life? What about their personal life? Okay, one thing that I'm noticing is that your cards are coming out really quickly. So even though I don't know what's under here, I do kind of feel like a lot of what you've experienced in March will kind of trickle into April, but also you may kind of already know what to expect a little bit. So, okay, what about external circumstances? Okay, so let's go ahead and see now, starting with relationships. We have the Seven of Wands with the second house, material world, possessions, finance, talent, values, worthiness, wardrobe, luxuries, credit score, security, yada, yada, yada. Things that I find boring. Okay. So I definitely think that this month you may have less time to spend with people that you love. The vibe that I get with the seven of wands is that you may be missing some people in your life, whether that's like a significant other or friends. Um, I definitely feel like if there's any high maintenance friendships in your life, you may be kind of like reevaluating how much energy you give to those people because I think that there's just going to be a lot of things in your regular life that you have to attend to. And if there's people that aren't very understanding about that, that might be kind of frustrating. One thing that I am getting is that if you have a roommate, uh, you might have some disagreements with them on like certain things or stuff. Um, you might have to paddle it out a little bit. Like for example, <laughs> I'm thinking of the dinner party episode of The Office, uh, like where Michael has that big ass beer sign. <laughs> like things like that, like maybe one of you brings home something that the other is like, I can't stand you having this, or maybe someone's like not paying their form of the rent and you may have to like talk to them about it. But honestly, I don't get much animosity. It's just more like working through conflict or dealing with challenges. For some of you, you may have to help other, other people like, um, if someone has like passed on or something like that, I'm not predicting that that will happen. I think it's something that you'd already know about. Um, like maybe you have to go through all of their stuff or things like that. And there might be some disagreements about like who gets what. Um, I also think that maybe there's just going to be less time this month for you to do deal with like relationships with other people because you just have a lot on your plate like maybe work is really demanding or um you just don't have time to deal with that maybe for some of you you're really like there's opportunities to do fun things but maybe you can't afford to right now or just don't have the budget for that um i do think though that you could be going like shopping or doing something fun with friends or something like that but I think more than anything, you may be feeling a bit like defensive or there may be in your people in your life feeling a bit defensive about maybe you not being able to spend as much time with them or um, something like that. The biggest vibe that I get though is that like if you live with someone or um, if you share assets with someone or like are inheriting assets that there might be like disagreements or conflicts around that you may have to fight for your position but I think more so than anything like socializing this month 
because you're just going to have a lot on your plate between what you're dealing with energetically and your just human responsibilities you may have to like really fight to see people and spend time with the people that you love and care about because there's just not a lot of time so it's like you're gonna have to like schedule that time or plan that time or make time for them and and things of that nature I also think that um you may kind of recognize like where maybe you haven't necessarily been treated right and you may stand up for yourself in terms of like worthiness I think you're going to recognize where maybe you should give certain people less of your time and energy because they don't recognize your value or you're realizing that like why am I even trying to prove my worth to someone like I am inherently worthy I don't need to be around people that make me feel that way um and for some of you if like you're talking to someone and you feel like they're not really giving you the time and energy you may find that you're that you're putting in more effort than they are and you may have realizations about that or recognize that maybe that's not something that you really want. I think more so than anything, it's like you're going to have to put more effort into your relationships to get like to get the socialization that you want. Um, or it kind of seems like the material world is going to block you from socializing as much as you would like. Um, but with the seven of wands here, I feel like you are going to at least be in a place where you're defending yourself and not allowing people to walk all over you, which is awesome. And I also think that with the crow being up here, I think you're going to see the greater truth of relationships in your life and recognize if they are worth saving or worth working through or not. Um, but moving on to your career life now, we have the world and we have ascendant with outlook worldview, mission statement, expression, effect, role, mark, attitude, outer self, point of view, yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to read all of those. So for some of you, you could be like graduating, which if you are, that's awesome. Congratulations. The world is a card of graduating. For some of you, you could be leaving a job or starting a job this month, and that could be greatly affecting your outlook or making you feel more excited or less excited. Um, I think though that you're going to be feeling good like I this world card is very positive to me and it kind of seems like your world is about to get much bigger in some sort of way like maybe you're moving or you're starting a new job or you're like I said like graduating or finishing like a grade or something like that and you're recognizing that you're getting bigger and growing and I think that this is just a month of completion for you or a month of completion that is getting you started for a new adventure in some way which that's kind of the same thing more so than anything you may actually be like traveling for work maybe that's what this compass is about or looking into opportunities to like study abroad maybe you're literally leaving to study abroad or maybe you are um kind of looking into what you want the next step of your journey to be there's definitely a huge sense of completion here so maybe you're getting promoted maybe you are leaving a job or looking for a new job i think no matter what it is there's something major happening in your life and you already know about it so i don't really need to spend too much time elaborating on it i think more so than anything if you're if you're not anticipating any major changes then i would say that you are maybe recognizing that what you're doing now is becoming too small for you and you need more room to grow and because your outlook on life is changing you may recognize that it's time to close a certain chapter of your life and start something new so you may be in the process of working out the details of what can i do to change what i'm doing so that it's more aligned with what i truly want um, i think more than anything you're really just going to be feeling like depending on the decisions that you've made, either like excited and ready for what's next or recognize that what you're doing now is not really serving you anymore or that once this period of time doing whatever it is that you're doing is over, it may be time to move on to bigger and better things because it's not really sustaining you. I feel like you've, you've kind of leveled up in a way and so now it, it's like you're either searching or starting something that is going to be more diverse in terms of like 
what you want to experience or just more aligned with you. Um, but you may also be traveling for work or something like that. And that and traveling could really help with your outlook or it could be the thing that brings about a lot of change, a lot of a lot of new experiences. If you're moving, then I do see this relationship thing maybe being about like you having to put in extra effort to meet people or you'd have to get out of your comfort zone to kind of, you know, be around other people, talk to other people, and maybe in the process of moving out, you know, like for example, if you have a sister and you live with a sister, maybe you both are gonna be arguing about what's yours and what's hers, you know what I mean? I don't even have a sister, but from the sisters I know, I think that's a thing. Um, but I definitely think that this is gonna be a very influential month for you. And I think that this is a month where you're really gonna kind of be your own best friend because you're just going through a lot. And it's not in a bad way, it's just in a, a big way where you're really reflecting on these changes and on life. And so I feel like you're not going to be connecting to the people around you as deeply because you're kind of connecting to yourself during this time. So let's go ahead, speaking of yourself, let's look at what is going on in your personal life. Oh, hell yeah, we have the Three of Cups and we have Pluto with transformation, renewal, inner resources, basic instinct, motivation, personal power, evolution, and all, all that jazz. So yeah, I definitely think that you are finding inner joy with yourself, even though the Three of Cups is a lot about like celebrating with others and you could definitely be doing that and maybe that's going to be one of the moments that really helps you reflect on how much you've grown i really am taking this three of cups to more so represent just joy and finding joy with where you're at in life and not stressing yourself out i think you're going to be reflecting a lot on how much you've grown and changed and you may also recognize that there are relationships in your life that you're not really aligned with anymore and I think you're gonna feel a sense of peace about maybe not putting as much effort into those connections doesn't mean you have to sever ties or things like that but you may just be recognizing where um, certain people certain groups don't really fulfill you the way they once did and I think you're gonna recognize that actually distancing yourself or just doing what makes you happy is more fulfilling than trying to uphold appearances or uphold a, a social group that's not really aligned with you. I definitely think that if there have been difficult changes in your life or people have seemingly fallen away from your life, you're going to be in this energy where you're recognizing that even though these changes may have been difficult, these changes may have not been very fun, these transformations have brought you so much more happiness and I think that the universe is currently aligning you with people that are part of your true north and that are that are going to fulfill you more. I definitely just see this being an energy where you're celebrating like with yourself and like finding contentment in yourself and reflecting a lot on just like, wow, like I, I've grown so much. I've changed so much. Like that is worth celebrating. And like, I think that your reliance on external validation is going to be very, very low this month because you're going to just feel so much satisfaction from your own growth and your own journey because truthfully, nobody can truly appreciate your journey the way you can anyway. Um, but I do think that the right people will be there to support you. And if it's not people, it's definitely going to be like loving spiritual energy around you that's celebrating with you. Even if you don't have a lot of like you're not around a lot of friends this month, I think that you're going to be feeling very fulfilled. Like the universe is your friend and you're just feeling very held by that. And I don't think that, I think you're gonna recognize where maybe like certain friendships in the past have burned you more than they've helped you. In fact, you may find that certain friendships that were maybe more superficial, like they may be falling away and you may just feel relief rather than sadness. And you might be like, wow, like that's kind of sad that I feel relief, but kind of a good thing at the same time that we both can move forward, right? So I definitely think there's some bittersweetness here, but I think that more so than anything, you're gonna be feeling a lot of joy. I do think the one thing that I would tell you though is to just maybe be careful um with using substances as a coping mechanism because you may like 
you may forget to set your alarm or you may like miss an important deadline and so then that's why your spirit guides would be like helping you extend that so i guess even if you do have a little bit a uh, little bit too much fun which is there really such thing as that I, I guess there is but um the universe might be looking out for you and and protecting you i also just think that like you're gonna feel safe to trust yourself and what you're doing but more so than anything i feel like you're gonna be feeling content and excited for what life has in store for you and excited for what's next and one thing that's interesting is like you may actually be celebrating with a lot of your friends like virtually because with only the hands being here in this card i almost feel like a lot of your fulfillment is coming from opportunities from the universe and you're not necessarily like seeing people in person but maybe celebrating with them virtually or just feeling their presence around you and and enjoying that i i don't know i just feel even though this energy is more solitary, it's like there's definitely loving energy around you or at a distance from you that is really happy for you and supporting you. And I think you're going to be aware of that. And it's like, even if they're not there to celebrate with you physically, they're still celebrating with you. Okay, so let's look at your external circumstances now. Okay, so we have temperance and we have the third house with perception. So... I definitely can see here, which actually is interesting because temperance is all about, has things about traveling and things like that. I definitely think that you're in a place where you, you need to be patient, but temperance is also about like, in, in a typical tarot card, it would be like, there's usually like two cups of a liquid that are being like melded together and like kind of show duality. And so I think really this temperance card is kind of just reiterating what this oracle spread was talking about here where there's like you know there's gonna be positives and negatives this month there's gonna be good and bad but i think you're gonna be rec recognizing that it's all about how you perceive it and what's interesting too is that we have like map is that a map or is that just oh it looks like a map but it's not a map um i do think that you're going to be in a more planning phase this month and I also think that you're going to be aware of how maybe your perception isn't necessarily the reality or how your perception is always reality. And so I think that you're going to be trying to seek a higher truth in your perception. I think spirit is really saying with these two cards <laughs> and the words of the wise prophet Hannah Montana, life is what you make it. And so let's make it rock, right? But <laughs> I think really spirit is really saying here, you know, pay attention to how you speak to yourself. You know, you can't control how others speak to you, but you can control how you speak to yourself. And I think Spirit is really saying, you know, this month is just going to require patience because there are things outside of your control. But like the shifts that happen this month are going to be so integral to your growth and they're going to create a lot of happiness and a lot of change that you've been wanting for a long time. And so I feel like Spirit's saying just like hold on for the ride and try to remain aligned with your inner truth because that's what's going to get you where you need to go with the temperance card being here there there may be circumstances outside of your control that you just have to be patient for and allow and allow those shifts to happen um but i also think that the words that other people say may shift your perspective as well and i don't know in what way positive or negative maybe both but i, I think that you're just going to be looking at a lot of aspects of your life and feeling like they either don't hit the same or that things kind of need to be need to be recalibrated is the best way I can explain that. So let's go ahead now and get some advice from Mega Deck. We're only gonna get a few cards because I a spirit told me to use the Lightworker Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild for you, and that requires some reading. So we're just gonna pull like three cards. So Mega Deck, what advice do you have for pile two in the month of April, 2022? Okay, I okay, I told you, you're not alone. So Keepers of the Earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So yeah, you have a lot of friends on the other side caring for you and looking out for you this month. We also have get grounded, empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. So I think the biggest thing is that spirit is really telling you like 
when you get overwhelmed, that's when you want to go in and ground yourself. So if you don't know about grounding, I would highly recommend looking up grounding techniques that could be really helpful for you. Um, because there may be things that like you take too personally this month, I think with this perception. And when you take time to ground, you may recognize it's not personal at all and you can kind of release that energy. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. Release the petals, transformation, death and rebirth, shedding all change. So yeah, there are definitely, this is a bittersweet month in the sense that you're letting things go and embracing new energies and you're also changing and growing and there's a lot to celebrate with that, but, but it's kind of hard to, you know, let things go and release things, but this transformation is definitely worth it. And like I said, even if your outer world isn't changing too much, your inner world is changing a lot. And so that is going to be, that is going to be the interesting thing is like, you're just going to have to be patient with yourself through these transformations and recognize that like, you may not understand all of it now, but trust that this is all aligning for your highest good. So I'm going to finish off with a message from the Lightworker Oracle from Alana Fairchild because Spirit said that you needed it. So Spirit, what message do you want to finish Pile 2 off with for the month of April 2022? Woohoo! Yes, we got Ascension, the Rainbow Bridge. Love it. I'm in a rainbow mood as well, so we love that for you. Okay. You have been growing spiritually and your consciousness is expanding. It is transforming your experience of the material world from something you must control or conquer into a living expression of the radiant divine. As your appreciation and love for the material world becomes more unconditional, so too does the light that can flow into your aura, chakras, and physical body. As you physically expand, you may need more rest, healing, and meditation than usual to integrate this degree of light and the consciousness it awakens within you. The rainbow bridge is a term for the channel of light that moves through your chakra system and along your spine, allowing spirit to enter your body and stimulate the, the development of your soul. This bridge comes to life as your consciousness is raised. It draws in higher energies that nourish and awaken your body, mind, and soul through your chakra system. As your chakras become stimulated by the increasing influx of spiritual light, a clearing process begins which supports the consequent expansion of your consciousness. This clearing is like a spiritual detoxification. It clears blocks from your mind, emotional body, and physical body, as well as from your soul, such as unresolved past life issues. As these blocks are broken down and processed, emotional trauma stored in your organs and nervous system can be released and your energy field becomes more spacious. This creates room for an increase of spiritual light and as a result, you feel clearer about who you are and why you are here and others see more clearly when they are in your field. You become more powerful. Your energy field continues to clear itself, attracting more spiritual light, becoming more visible beyond physical limits. Others can be supported by your light even if they cannot see your physical body. You are growing as a light worker and helping humanity in increasing ways whilst enjoying your own spiritual growth. You are opening to new consciousness now. With this comes new insight, awareness, and an awakening or deepening of your soul talents such as healing, clairvoyance, channeling, or telepathy. Your channels are being cleared and activated. Rest, open up, and allow. Be patient and trust in your process. If emotional content arises, and you are concerned you might be falling back into old habits, do not be afraid. Find ways to express what you are feeling through writing, therapy, dance, music, and art, sound, consciousness, and, and conscious movement. Explore your personal expression to allow for this spiritual expansion. This oracle brings an additional, an additional message from spirit. Hold on. I literally, I was hearing this song, Hold On, by Justin Bieber. It's like, it says something like, I need you to hold on. Heaven's just a place not too far away. I, I know I shouldn't be the one to say we all make mistakes or something like that. It's a bop, okay? Listen, his newer stuff is so good, okay? Anyway, Ascension can be a wild ride. Anything is possible. The past is not an indicator. The future is not set. This is a moment to cultivate your deepest feelings of spiritual love and peace. Simply allow the genius of life to flow through you in whatever way it chooses. During ascension, your life can change quite dramatically. The rainbow bridge empowers us to rise from one reality to another. Even if your outer world doesn't change radically, internally you will feel as though you are living a different life. What did I say? I love, I love when these just like confirm what I was channeling. 
Um, eventually the physical world changes will follow. Enjoy crossing the rainbow bridge into new consciousness, dear one. You have everything you need. You are ready for this. It is meant to be. So I'm gonna like move this up so you can see the invocation, but I'm gonna just say it with you because like why not? I'm here channeling. So it says, I call upon the unconditionally loving guidance that can assist me and pile two with mercy, grace, protection, and support through my ascension process. I accept this opportunity to grow spiritually and shift from one reality to a higher vibrational reality. I accept the opening of my chakras into a more loving consciousness. I accept the changes happening in me and in my life due to the spiritual growth. May I be held in tenderness and compassion as I release lower vibrational patterning and embody my authentic divinity. May the beings of unconditional love who assist the anchoring of a loving rainbow bridge of light upon this planet for the greatest good of all beings be empowered and invited to do so now through my own free will, so be it. So you can say this invocation, let me make sure it's like actually getting in the, okay, yeah. Let me make sure, okay, so you can like pause that, screenshot that, do whatever you want. And hopefully, um, if you feel like you need to invoke this energy, you can recall that and respond to it. But pile two, that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so, so, so much for watching and for being here and for watching my ads. That is the simplest and easiest way to support me. But if you'd like to support me in other ways, you can like this video. You can comment down below. You can subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell to be part of my notification squad. You can uh, check out my merch, which is linked below and check out my social media. Though do be aware there are tons of scammers pretending to be me. So just be aware that I do not offer personal readings and I will never try to solicit a personal reading from you in the dms if someone does that is not me all of my social media is linked below i don't have a backup account or anything like that but that's all i have for you guys so i hope you have a wonderful april and i am hoping you all have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this and i hope you'll come back and see me again soon bye hi there pile three if you guys chose this super seven stone this is going to be your reading on what is happening in april 2022 thank you so much for being here and i quickly wanted to say a quick happy birthday to all of my april babies i am an april baby i was born the seventh so let me know if you share that birthday or if we're close uh we've got a lot of heavy hitter birthdays this month we got kino on the fourth we got tara with tay i believe on the second um yeah shout out to all the aries babies especially april aries babies well there's nothing wrong with march aries babies but i'm a little bit biased and we stand april aries excellence over here okay anyway let's go ahead oh and i wanted to mention as well miss mega deck is back today we will be using her for advice but i also have another oracle deck that spirit wanted me to use for advice so we'll use that too but I'm getting ahead of myself let's go ahead and see what this overall month looks like for you so to start we have me burping are you done oh my god that last i burp very silently so if it sounds like my voice is cracking it's usually just because i'm actually burping but anyway we have wisdom with psychic intuition and truth we have ask body and we have rescue we also have honeysuckle with domestic happiness and devoted affection. I will wind thee in my arms, so doth would bind the honeysuckle gently and twist. I don't know why I needed to say it like that, but it's from Shakespeare. And we have wolf. Okay, so this is an earth energy, so shout out to my earth placements. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, you could have those, but you certainly don't have to. I want to put ask body in the middle, actually. Um, this is really interesting, pile three. Your month, there's a lot of progress happening in terms of your psychic abilities, your inner understanding of yourself, your ability to live in your truth. But it's not about going higher for you. It's not about going into the higher realms. It's about going deeper within to yourself. In fact, this month is going to be a lot about grounding and asking for help and asking in general. Because I think what you maybe have been uh, predisposed to do is to always rely on yourself. You're, you're maybe someone who doesn't like to ask for help or maybe someone who kind of pushes people away when you're struggling or maybe you're just hyper independent. Um, 
which no shame, same, something I'm trying to heal too. But I think what's really happening this month is you're learning how to ask for help, but you're also learning how to be present in ways other than just mentally or emotionally. I feel like you're doing a lot of healing with your root chakra, especially. And that healing is allowing you to kind of anchor the higher spiritual wisdom you have into the 3D world and feel more aligned with your truth. I feel like you've all, you are very like, you're very clear when you're aligned with your truth and like you're not bogged down by external circumstances like when you're in meditation or when you're in a dream state or you're deep within in yourself or you're kind of channeling higher things I feel like you really it, you feel it deeply and you're able to like kind of stay aligned with that truth but you may get lost in it when you are too stuck in your head or you're subject to a lot of different external sources that maybe don't align with you. I feel like it's easier to get lost in your truth or maybe not recognize what your intuition is telling you because maybe you're kind of more detached from your body or you're learning to cultivate that connection. And I think that a lot of this month for you is about being more present in your body, being more present in the moment. And instead of trying to access higher dimensions or higher wisdom or higher guidance, listening to the wisdom of your own body, listening to the wisdom of what the present has for you and just going from there. I also think that in you might be healing some learned helplessness this month. And I don't mean that in like a shameful way, but you may just be realizing that you had the capability of doing certain things all along. This rescue card really makes me think of that scene in The Wizard of Oz when... Uh, the, the wizard, he uh, gets, uh, he, he essentially, you know, gets, uh, he goes in the big balloon and he gets, and he can't take Dorothy with him, right? And then Dorothy learns that she was always, she always had the power to, to go home all along, which of course Glenda comes back and uh, tells her that so I do feel like one thing that spirit is oh my gosh and we even have like a fairy like creature in a bubble here so that's kind of cool um and 44 is a number of angels so I definitely think there's a lot of unconditionally loving higher guidance that is always here for help if you ask for it especially when it comes to angels like if you ever need help like just ask your angels and they will come help you like all you have to do is ask like I have archangel gabriel candle right now you can ask for his help. You can literally just ask the universe for help and, and they will provide. Um, but I think that this is also about like not being afraid to ask when you just need help in general. I think you're going to be learning to recognize when maybe tasks are too much for you to handle on your own. And I think you're going to be learning how to lean on other people or lean on sources that are available to you and I think you're going to realize how much maybe unnecessary pressure you are putting on yourself or you'll recognize where you can kind of offload some of your other burdens so that you can kind of enjoy your present life more and enjoy just being in the moment and living what I really love is that we do have domestic happiness and devoted affection so I do think that you could be spending more time with your family this month in fact they could be the ones helping you with anything um if you live with a significant other or even roommates I think that you guys are going to be getting along really well I think you're going to be just feeling a lot of closeness and be really happy to be in their presence um I also think that you could just be feeling very happy in your space like maybe you're doing little things to change it or you're just keeping it more clean or something like that and I feel like you're just going to be really feeling really happy and safe at home but I think that this is translating to you learning how to be happy and safe and feel at home in your own body with the way that it is. There's a deep acceptance for just recognizing that your body is a vessel and that unfortunately in our society we <laughs> are really unfair to our bodies and are really hard on our bodies sometimes and we look at form over function. I think that this month is a lot about recognizing the value and the functions of your body rather than the form it comes in and recognizing that we can always be kinder to our bodies and we can always 
ask our body what it needs so that we can better support it because we because we need our body to help us fulfill what the higher realms want us to do or to you know just be a part of the human experience and i think you're going to realize how going deeper within yourself greatly helps and evolves your spiritual practices because when you're able to be present in your own body it just helps the 5d and the 3d align with the wolf card being here you could have a paternal or more masculine um, figure in your life that may be there to help you or give you advice but I do think that this extends to you maybe just being more grounded and wanting to learn more about life and from other people I feel like maybe you've kind of been running on like a loop of just doing what you think is best and maybe not really or doing what you think you should do rather than thinking about what might be most helpful for you and you may be recognizing that you you need more help or you need more support and i feel like those sources are there you may be recognizing how you're turning into your parents in some ways which i think is kind of funny um i don't mean that in like a bad way but i think that just happens to everyone where you just kind of realize you in some ways you're like them um with this ass body card as well someone that drives a jaguar car could be significant to you that could be somebody that's helping you or like jaguars could just be a spiritual sign for you in this month but yeah like i'm just getting this vibe that for some of you someone who drives that car could be very helpful to you this month or something like that but um another thing that i'm really getting is just that this month is a really integral time for you to integrate what you've been learning spiritually and bring it down to earth and and really understand why and how or just recognizing the fact that you need to have earthly components to this spiritual experience in order to truly integrate it knowing is not the same thing as being and so i think that this is really a level in your ascension where you're you're learning to live your truth and understand what that actually looks like and i think you're you're gaining a lot of wisdom through that recognizing the value and not just reading the spiritual books but then maybe doing the tips that the spiritual books have for you or like you know doing more meditations going within more really getting to know your body and not just feeding your mind if that makes sense um and i definitely think as well like there's gonna be circumstances where people or the universe or answers just come out of nowhere and really help you along with your journey and with your mission. I definitely think that you're protected this month with that number 44. April 4th could be a significant date. That's Kino's birthday, so make sure you tell her happy birthday. But we're going to go ahead and get deeper into this now. And I just want to look at a few different areas of your life. We're going to look at relationships in general. We're going to look at your career or your work life. And then we're going to look at uh, your personal life. And then we'll finish off with external circumstances that you should be aware of. Okay. So, Spirit... What is happening for pile three with their relationships in April 2022, please? What is happening with pile three and their career, school, work life in April 2022? Okay, what is happening within their personal life? in april 2022 and what external circumstances do they need to be aware of okay let me get your tarot now so i am using the pastel journey tarot by vanessa samina and her company bow life was kind enough to send me this deck as well as this beautiful ring and ah gotta dig it out my wrists are small uh this beautiful black obsidian bracelet she has tons of things on her site so if you want to get yourself a little something nice or get this deck or just check her and her website out she does have a youtube channel which i'm sure you're aware of um i have an affiliate code for 10 percent off it is aso 10 so if you do want to get anything for yourself and help me in the process uh that will be linked down below for you but thank you so much bow life um i'm literally i'm obsessed with this ring 
and this deck because it's such it's my energy <laughs> in the deck like I like these are all my favorite colors and stuff like that but yeah just thought I would let you know but okay so now let's see spirit what is happening for pile three I almost wanted to call you pile one for some reason and their relationships for April 2022. Okay, what's happening in their career? What's happening in their career? Okay, what about their personal life? And finally, what external circumstances do they need to work? So, let's see starting with relationships all right we have the seven of swords and we have mars action all right well i'm gonna need a clarifier for this because the seven of swords and mars energy are two very different energies okay so we have the king of pentacles oh okay Wow, okay, so this King of Pentacles really coincides with this wolf energy. I feel like you're actually, this Seven of Swords represents you. And this is what, okay, so first of all, I think that people are going to be finding you hard to reach, if not already, if you're not, if you don't already seem hard to reach. So an earth sign could definitely be significant. Um, I will say, because, okay, okay, so you see, here's the thing. A King of Pentacles type is definitely not out here doing Seven of Swords shit. So what I actually see going on here is that I think that you're going to be more transparent with a King of Pentacles like figure. This would be somebody who is very grounded. Um, they could be an entrepreneur, a boss, something like that. They could be a parent, a grandparent, um, or just somebody that you look up to and respect that is very generous, very caring, very nurturing. And I think that they're going to be taking action to help you once you are a, make them aware of what you are going through. But I think essentially, when it comes to this upcoming month with the Seven of Swords here, I think that a lot of people are going to be either like seeking you or trying to get your attention and energy. And it's all up to you what you take action towards. But I mean, there's also things here like desire, impulses, strength, competition, excitement, impatience, willpower, leadership, sex drive. And I think your relationships really depend on how much action you wanna have that month. I also think that it's gonna be up to you to kind of seek people and have connection and communication with people because I think that you're just kind you've kind of either been off the radar or maybe you expect people to read your mind sometimes or maybe you just like forget to tell people what's up but people might actually get the wrong idea from you or get this vibe that like you're doing something secretive or like worry that you're not that you don't like them because you're not taking action towards them or something like that. So I think what Spirit is really saying is it's up to you to be transparent. It's up to you to be upfront with people this month because people might project their own insecurities onto you and because they don't have you to fill in the, the blanks of what's actually going on, um, they may just make assumptions. And so I think with this card, Spirit is really saying, you know, people can't read your mind. Don't if you need help or if you need support, you need to ask for it. You need to take action towards it because it's not going to come to you by just doing nothing, by just sitting there. I also think that maybe this kind of projection of insecurities could be a vice versa thing. It could be something that you're dealing with. And so I think in this case, you are going to be recognizing where, um, maybe you've been projecting unfair things or making assumptions and when you actually take action to find the truth or to communicate with people you'll recognize where maybe your brain has been unfair to yourself so really what i'm seeing here in terms of relationships is this month is going to be what you make it in terms of 
what you take action towards. I do think that this is a month where you're not necessarily attracting people towards you. You're going out and getting what you want. Um, I don't see anyone like slighting you or something like that. I, I really just think it's that you're in this energy where if you need help, if you need support, you need to seek it because people are not even going to realize you're struggling. I think you have a very good way of putting out a front that you're doing fine even when you're not. And so if you need help, if you need support, you need to be the one to ask for it. I also think this extends to romantic interests or partners. You may realize, okay, for some of you, if you have a partner, this partner may be hiding a surprise from you. I think, oh, that's really cute. They might be hiding some sort of surprise from you and you might like be thinking that they have like nefarious intentions or they're doing something bad and I think you're going to realize that they are actually doing something really sweet. Um, but for others, I really think that this is so much more about asking for what you want because you may not realize how you come across as controlled and put together and not needing anything. And I think that if you are seeing people, um, they might make the assumption that you're not interested. Maybe you come up, come across as more cold or something like that. Um, so I feel like Spirit is saying, remember that people can't read your mind. Be sure to communicate clearly and upfront. And don't, don't make assumptions, essentially. And ask for help if you need it because it's not going to come to you if you just like hope it will or just continue to struggle. Be open about what you're dealing with and what you're going through. So, okay, let's look at your career now. Oh, okay, we have the Empress and we have Libra, the idealist. Harmonious, cooperative, balanced, socially aware, artistic, people pleasing. You get it, which actually is interesting because the Empress is ruled by Venus and Venus rules Libra and Taurus. So I think that you are going to be feeling really good in your career. And if your career involves something where you put yourself out there, I think that not only are you going to be doing really well, I think you're gonna be looking really good. And I think that people are gonna be really impressed by you. I definitely see that people are going to be seeing you as very well put together. Um, you're going to have a lot of creative ideas. You're going to be feeling really driven and really motivated. In fact, that may be one reason why people think that you're not interested in communicating with them because you're doing so much work and things like that. You may not even realize how people are taking that personally. But like I said, you know, be sure to ask for help in those areas. Um, but when it comes to career, I definitely think that you are going to be like, if you've had plans to do things, I think you're actually putting them into action this month. I think that you're, whatever you're doing is going to be feeling more fluid, like you don't have to try as hard. And I also think that you're gonna have a really good, healthy work-life balance. I don't think you're gonna push yourself over the edge. And I think actually you're gonna be feeling freer to make more creative decisions that you haven't in the past. I also think that you're going to be attracting a lot of abundance and a lot of opportunities towards you. And I think that you're going to come across really well. Like, for example, if you have a presentation to do, I think that people are going to be really impressed by your capabilities. Oh my God, Spirit's showing me this SNL skit um, where like Kate McKinnon and someone else, I can't remember who. It's like an office scene where everybody's like trying out this presentation software and like two secretaries do one and it's just like all over the place and they're saying you would essentially be the exact opposite of that um but i think that people are really going to be respecting you people are going to be seeing you as fair just i think a lot of people are going to be attracted to you so if you are so like, for example, if you work in a service industry, I think you're going to be getting a lot of tips. I think that people are going to be extra kind to you. I think that you're just going to find that things are going well for you in this, at this time. If you are a stay at home parent, I feel like something about the energy of your home, which we do have domestic happiness here, like your children are just going to be more well behaved. They're going to listen to you more and you're going to be like, what the hell is in their water? And it's just going to be this energy where you're just kind of taking 
taking things on oh my god as well so if you're part of any like parent groups you might have some jealous some jealous jennies not all not all jennies are jealous there's many wonderful jennies but like you know what i mean uh that may be like negative towards you or send negativity your way because like they're jealous or they think that you're thriving or whatever so don't take that personally you may find actually that that because of your success and whatever it is that you're doing in school or at work even if your work is being a stay-at-home parent because like that is work let me tell you um other people might be jealous of that they might be envious of that and they might take action towards you that's kind of like competitive or kind of seems like like they're slighting you in some way but just trust like there's no it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them but honestly i think most people are going to be like if you go to an office i think your fits are going to be fire i think that people are going to be like where did you get that and you're gonna be looking really good. I think you're gonna be feeling more confident in your skin. I think also that you're just gonna kind of feel like you're in control. I think people might be coming to you for advice and almost look at you in a um, in a motherly context in some in certain ways. Like you could be like the work mom or work dad. Um, but I also think as well, maybe you have a, a person that you're partnering up with to collab with um, that will help you succeed as well as kind of with this angel wing here. It almost seems like divine, divine guidance of sorts. But I also think that there's a lot of divine protection around your career and I think you're going to be feeling creative. I'm hearing the song I Am by Young Baby Tate. So I think you're just going to be doing well in that area, but it may be taking up a lot of your time. And as a result, people may not realize that you're struggling to get things done or you're struggling underneath the surface. And so I think that's when you really wanna be up front and be like, hey, I need some help or something like that. Okay, so what about your personal life? Okay, we have the five of wands and we have opposition. Relates, mirrors, interacts, confronts, makes conscious, manifests, disciplines, conflicts with, tests, objectifies, calls out. So this is not like, conflict with others this is actually conflict with yourself because you're going to be actively working towards doing things that are out of what is instinctual to you but that is actually what is helping you so much so it's going to be hard for you to ask people for help it's going to be hard for you to go deeper with into your own body it's going to be hard for you to do the work involved in bettering yourself it's going to be a bit of a fight it's not going to happen effortlessly but it's going to be worth it it's this opposition that's helping you grow and change and it's through these changes you're realizing that you can handle all of them what i really like is that with this even in this five of wands typically in a five of wands there's like multiple people usually five people in it there's just one figure you are your own worst enemy this month or your own best friend it's all how you treat it and the biggest thing that you need to fight against is that part of you that tells you you can't do it that part of you that tells you that you're just gonna fail anyway that part of you that tells you that you're not good enough that part of you that tells you that you should change xyz about yourself you are learning how to overcome inner struggles and use this opposition as an opportunity to grow rather than an opportunity to crumble and that's the thing. People are not going to see the inner opposition and the inner conflict that you're dealing with. I definitely think this Empress card is much more external perception than it is internal reality. And you may only recognize it later or you may never even recognize it at all. But the beauty in this is that this is this is energy that's allowing you to shift and grow and you're finding your balance you're finding your truth and not only that you're overcoming a lot of the things internally that have been stopping you from being your best self from living your best life and so i think that this is going to be really helpful not only that because we do have this action card here with the seven of swords i think you're going to be feeling more confident to tell people how you truly feel ask for what you really want ask for guidance ask people to hang out you know ask those mutuals if they want to be friends like i feel like you're going to be more confident like the only thing you're opposing is your own fear the only thing you're opposing is 
the things that bring you down. And so in your personal life, it's going to be a battle to take the action in the physical that you need to be aligned with what you know and believe in the spiritual, if that makes sense. So let's see what external circumstances you need to be aware of. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands and we have Neptune. So this is imagination, memories, subconscious, self-sacrifice, visions, meditation. Okay, so there's definitely going to be a lot of spiritual energy around you. But I think with this Page of Wands here, I think that maybe the people around you are going to be less grounded and motivated than you. And so that might be kind of frustrating. If you do have a child, um, it may be hard to keep up with their energy, even though it does seem like they're going to be like easier they it may be a challenge to kind of keep up with them and you might be hard on yourself in terms of how much you can do and achieve i feel like this is more so the fact that you maybe have a tendency to project what you want into the future and not see how you can ground it into now and you may escape a lot through your dreams or through your fantasies or your daydreams and so I think what your challenge this month is going to be is recognizing when you get stuck in those states and instead of running away to an adventure in your mind or literally running to an adventure, learning to, to ground and go within. Because this month is about grounding and that doesn't seem to be what comes very natural to you. And so the challenge is going to be your predisposition to want to go within. You may be surrounded by people who are more immature than you or just want to just want to have fun and, and just, you know, they kind of have like Bart Simpson eat my shorts energy. They're not really feeling things deeply, whereas you are. And so one of your challenges is maybe going to be recognizing when external energies or opportunities aren't really aligned with where you're at and having the ability to either set boundaries or say no when things aren't working for you. Because while you have this disposition to want to focus on your dreams and manifest those dreams, you may sabotage that in reality because of habits that you have or behaviors that you would rather do and so i think that this month you're going to be kind of tested in that sense like oh are you going to do the thing that doesn't align with you but feels good now or are you going to do the thing that is best for you but is a challenge to do and so you might not have the external help to get there and that's why you're being asked to ask for help because you may not feel strong enough to say no at certain times on your own so you know maybe if your friends are doing something really fun and you want to do that but you know tonight you just need to take it easy maybe asking someone you love if they can facetime with you or if they can come over and have a calm night with you if you can even find like um happy mediums i think even that will be helpful but really what you need to know here is that you're doing amazing sweetie and i think more so than anything it's just learning to heal your i think also like a lot of your external circumstances are going to be motivating you to heal aspects of your inner child and i think as well you're going to have many moments this month where it's like repeat the old habit or try it differently and if you're too lost in your own spiritual sauce or too up in your head or too lost in illusions you may just by nature take the action that doesn't support you and so then you're just which is fine but you may be hard on yourself about that or you may feel like you're regressing or falling back but there's a purpose to everything and you don't need to be um you don't need to be hard on yourself but I definitely think that this is a month where you're being challenged to grow and your external circumstances aren't necessarily going to be the most supportive to you. So it's like you have to cultivate it for yourself. Um, and that's why asking for help is going to be important and asking your body what it needs and things like that is going to be important as well. So Let's go ahead and get some advice from Mega Deck and then advice from the other deck that I got that Spirit wanted me to use. So Mega Deck today is made of 
the Work Your Light Oracle deck and the Rose Oracle, both by Rebecca Campbell. So, Miss Mega Deck, what advice do you have for Pile 3? The Mystic Rose, Compassion, Devotion, Humility, Humanity, Grace. I think one of the biggest things is, yeah, yeah. have compassion for yourself. Have compassion for where people are at in life. Um, be willing to give yourself grace. I think that the biggest thing here is devotion and recognizing that devotion to a deeper purpose sometimes requires you to take action that you may not necessarily want to take in the moment. This is funny because I literally saw this card in the deck when I was cutting it, but this is awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. And on the back of the deck, we have the Rose of Venus, which we do have a lot of Venusian energy here. Alignment, flow, right relationship, harmony. So with the awakening card here, I definitely think you're awakening to deeper truths. If there are any relationships that are not meant to stay in your life, I think you're going to have deeper awareness of it. And I think it's going to fall away on its own. I don't think it's something you're going to have to take action to do. But like I said, I didn't really get a deep vibe. Like there's like things that are messed up happening or people are sabotaging you. I think it's more so that you're not being transparent with people about what you're going through and what you're dealing with. But I do think that Spirit is saying you're in the process of being in alignment with your soul and divine alignment with your divine plan and learning to cultivate the right relationship with yourself. And that is what is going to create harmony. And while it may be difficult to do these changes and it may suck in a lot of ways, it's going to bring a lot more awareness, a lot more peace and a lot more trust in the universe when you do follow what what feels right rather than just what you would want to do or what you think you should do. You're all, you're doing fine. I think that's the point. Megadeck is basically saying like, you're ascending, be compassionate with yourself and recognize that this there's a greater purpose to all of this, okay? And this is all part of your process of alignment. And as you're awakening and ascending, there's gonna be uncomfortable changes and you're gonna have to fight old parts of yourself to make room for the new. But the beautiful part of that is that you get to, you don't, you don't even get to see where it leads. Like this, you're not getting the full picture this month, I think is what you need to know. But trust that these changes are happening for a reason. And I think the, the, the biggest perk and the biggest blessing of this month is that you're definitely getting to um, really thrive in your career or workspace. So I'm gonna finish this off by getting a message from the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. That's the deck that Spirit called me to use. And I'll just read that. So Spirit, what message do you have for pile three? Every journey starts with a single step and I don't wanna get demonetized for titties. So I'm just gonna do that. Nothing wrong with the human form, but YouTube seems to think so. Okay, so let's see where. You are on a journey. Yes, it is an internal journey, but there is also a physical expression of this journey that is going to become increasingly important to the fulfillment of your destiny in this lifetime. Your journey has started on the inside, but its destination will be the physical expression on, uh, of an internal healing. This journey will draw upon what you have learned and mastered over the course of your life, so much so that you may feel as though your life experiences have prepared you for this particular adventure. You have all that you need within you. This is not a time to worry about what you are going to take with you. From within your heart, you will sense what needs to come along for the ride and what is best left behind for now. You may be surprised at exactly how much can be left behind without you feeling concerned or anxious. You'll be able to travel far lighter than you ever imagined possible. To be a best equipped for this journey, you will need a lightness of heart and the realization that change can be an incredible blessing, even if what you are leaving behind is something you found secure, safe, familiar, or comforting. Just as the butterfly leaves the chrysalis behind when it is time to spread its newly formed wings, so too you are ready to leave behind what once was and embrace what is more appropriate for you at this time. There is an element to the journey you are embarking upon that is unknown. Perhaps it is news to you 
that you are even taking a journey. However, the realization that traveling along a familiar path brings no guarantees is more likely. This open, unscripted quality to your journey will help you gain the most from your experiences. You see, this journey is a spiritual gift. It is an invitation from the great loving heart of the universe, calling you into something that you would not have otherwise found. You are not supposed to know all the details, nor how it is going to work out before you set out. You are just meant to take one step after the other, again and again, so that you can receive the gifts that are headed your way. If you're considering a physical trip somewhere, this oracle comes as confirmation that the journey will in some way be life-changing, a life-changing one, and that this is good. Oh my God, this external circumstance, because like the prince, the page of wands can be adventure and dreams. So you may have the opportunity to travel to a place you've always dreamed about. If the journey you are considering is of a more internal variety, such as exploring a new field of consciousness, beginning a new creative work, or traveling into the void of unknown possibilities in order to start your work, then this oracle is confirmation that it is indeed a wise choice and will bring, and much new life will come of it. This oracle brings you particular guidance that the apparently small steps you are taking in an area of your life important to you right now are actually far more powerful and constructive than you realize. Sometimes we are gaining ground, but the effect is not immediately obvious. This doesn't mean that nothing is happening. It simply means that the effects of your actions are cumulative and soon they will begin to overflow in the physical world with a positive impact that may surprise you. This oracle brings you the message to keep going. If you've been doing a lot of inner work and are frustrated or concerned that you are not seeing the results translate in the physical world keep faith as the physical manifestation of your inner work is coming remember that you have all the resources you need and then some your inner and outer journeys are blessed with positive energy and all you need to do is keep going one step at a time so we're gonna say the healing process together and it says of my own free will, I now choose to surrender any fear or doubt about my ability to succeed. I believe it in myself. I trust myself. I have faith in the unfolding journeys of my life, both internally and out in the world. Even in the face of the unknown, I know that positive energy surrounds me and I am protected. Through unconditional love, I am supported and assisted to take each step as needs be so that my great creative life journey can be all that, that it can be. And it says, you may like to complete your healing process with a quick dance around the lounge room, feeling joy in your heart and lightness in your step. Just a suggestion. Okay, so I'm going to move this up here so that you can screenshot it if you want to say it for yourself or save it for another time. But that is where I am leaving your reading pile three. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And thank you so much for watching my ads. That is the simplest and easiest way to support me. But if you'd like to support me in other ways, you can like this video. You can comment down below. You can subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell to be part of my notifi notification squad. Um, I also have social media, though do be aware that there are a lot of scammers pretending to be me. So just know that I do not offer personal readings and I will never try to solicit a personal reading from you in your DMs. As well, I have merch linked down below, but that is all I have. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that April is wonderful and that your wildest dreams come true. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this video. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye.